Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another Mastodon reaction. The first one I did was Mastodon Show Yourself Official Music Video. It was my first time seeing the music video, but more importantly, it was my first time hearing that song. It was really fun to do, and I'm going to continue now. This next one I'm going to be checking out right now is Mastodon Andromeda, another single they released before the full album. And ever since I reacted to Show Yourself, people were like, react to this song from Mastodon, react to this song from the band, all this kind of stuff. I have heard every single Mastodon song except for the new ones off this new record, except for Show Yourself. That was the first one I heard off the new record, and this will be the second one. I have not heard the new album. I haven't heard it besides Show Yourself and Now Andromeda for this video, but all the other new songs on the newest record I haven't heard yet. So I'll, I might react to the other single. I believe it's called Sultan's Curse. Probably mispronounced that. I'm very sorry. And probably Jaguar God, was because everyone was like, oh my god, you're reacting to Mastodon? Check out the final song off the album if you haven't heard it. Jaguar God, it's so good. So you may check that out as well. But anyways, as I'm rambling at this point, let's get into now. This one does not have a music video. It'll just be in the corner. Mastodon and drama. Let's get into it now. I've been hearing great things about this. Get my cord fixed here. <laughs> anyways, guys, let's get into now. Mastodon and drama. I've heard great things about the song. Can't wait to hear it. Okay, guys, let's go. Whoa. That riff. I like the visual, it's moving. That riff. Wow. That's pretty cool. Oh. That bass high in the mix. Whoa. Harmonize the vocals. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. This riff. Jesus. That is, wow, unique. I love the groove. Awesome shit. That riff. Switch up again. I love that Mastodon will just literally just, they'll just take left turns in the music. I love that, love the beginning of that riff. I like that part too. That thing. Oh. Back to this. Oh. Added vocals. Whoa. I love that riff. That was weird. Go on, boys, go crazy. Wow.
And it's over. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. This band always finds ways to amaze me. They do. Um, because with Show Yourself, it reminds me a lot of High Road from Once More Around the Sun. Let me repos reposition this. Okay. Anyways. Um, it reminds me of High Road. Uh, off of Once More Around the Sun. Uh, Show Yourself was, not this song. And I like the fact that I can go from Show Yourself, which is a straightforward song. It's very catchy. It's got some... It's got some, it's, it's got some heaviness to it, but it's mainly just a straightforward, catchy, medium-paced song. And... That's all it is. It's there's no left turn. There's no like complete turnaround. There's nothing crazy. It's just verse, chorus, verse, chorus with a really, really cool solo. All the solos, all the guitar solos from Mastodon have been unique. There's they always find ways to just wow. The, the, this doesn't sound like a traditional solo, and I like that. It's kind of it's kind of known to Mastodon that they don't write traditional solos. They don't sound traditional. They don't sound like a lot of other metal bands doing guitar solos. So. That's one positive. Um, but I'm saying all this to say this. I can go from Show Yourself, straightforward, no left turn song, to Andromeda, this heavy, oh my god, a fucking heavy riff. It doesn't sound normal, but it's heavy as hell. And then we make these left turns where the chorus is more upbeat and it's got some melody and it's like really catchy. The, mel the guitar melodies are catchy, then the vocals are catchy as hell. So there's two things that kind of you know, separate and listen to individually when you go back on repeat. There's other things you can listen to, and then you can hear everything at once, and then listen to the guitars, like focus on the guitars, and focus on the vocals, and back over, back and forth. And then there's this other random terms with the riff just keeps changing. They keep changing the riff. And it's like, what's next? Because when the solo came, I'm like, wow. This, and I, I kept stopping, I kept stop. I, I kept, stop talking. That's not even, that's not even correct English. I kept talking and I, kept, I had I had to keep stopping myself because something would happen in the solo. I'm like, oh, well, that, I didn't expect that. It's one of those things where I need to learn. Just whenever Macedon performs an, a, a new solo comes up from a new song, just I should just never talk <laughs> because there's always something they'll throw into the throw in that you're not expecting. But then after the solo, then we hit this riff, awesome riff, and then the riff changes again. I'm like, what the hell? And we go right back to the, you know, the more upbeat. Um, the upbeat uh, chorus, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, this song is just so out there. And I like the fact that there's just riffs in here that are catchy, fast paced. Then there's that heavy intro riff that's just like slow and sludgy and just, ah, uh, it's so catchy. And then the, the chorus, which is more upbeat and a lot more guitar melody kind of leading it. Just, <laughs> Mastodon to me, has not done anything wrong ever in their music. Um, there are there are fans of Mastodon or like like early Mastodon that are that, that don't like what they're doing today. Like literally, I have read over the years there are Mastodon fans who love their early work and do not like the stuff they're putting out now. Mainly, this was around the time when um, Once More Around the Sun was coming out. Then the fans who were who, the fans of Mastodon who are fans of their early work came out of the woodwork and said. Man, this album sucks. It doesn't, it, it, it doesn't sound like anything that I'm used to from their older material. I'm thinking, what do you expect? Like bands, it's not rare anymore. A lot of bands like to transform and do other things besides what they did when they first started. They like to transform and do other things. Mastodon's one of those bands that always evolve, but kind of takes some of the things that made them stand out in the metal genre and bring those along into the next record, but they they want to keep expanding. So I'm interested to see what the rest of this album holds. I'm really excited for the last song, Jaguar God. A lot of you guys were suggesting that, but I'm really excited to see what else is on this record because I'm guaranteeing you. I mean, even though the album's been out for a long time at this point, I'm I'm pretty sure there are stuff on this album that I'm not expecting, and then I'm gonna go what because it's new because Mastodon always finds new things to incorporate into the music. And they keep expanding it, which is good because that means they have a whole lot of things to kind of pick from in terms of how to write songs. Because the more they expand, the more they do new things, the the better they are at writing their material because they, they're they just fantastic songwriters in my personal opinion. So there you have it, guys. My reaction to Mastodon Andromeda. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you thought about this song. Thank you so much for watching my reaction, guys. Peace out.